I've given And uh, today we've just got a random Call of Duty video that I looked up. Uh, I think it's a 48 for 9 gameplay. I'm really not sure what it is to be honest, but yeah, just hope you enjoy. Uh, I want to apologise beforehand because I literally I sound like I've literally just like drowned or something. My nose is <laughs> sure you can hear that, and it's all bogged up. Like everyone, like loads of people near my area, they've all got colds, and it's ugh. So yeah, I'm guessing it's something to do with the weather. But I'm actually pretty happy with myself, to be honest, okay? Um, four, about four or five months ago, November, December, January, February, March. Four, okay, four months ago. Hang on, no, I think I bought it in October. So five months ago, I had a, um, a friend who was selling an iPhone 4. It didn't work. The uh, It wouldn't charge. Uh, so he sold it to me for 120 quid, and I got it fixed for 15. So that's 135 quid. And I thought, hmm, do, I think I might sell it just to make some hashtag profits. <laughs> some mad stacks, just to... Um, just before like, I break it or something, because I did actually drop it the other day, but thank God it didn't do any damage to it. But um, yeah, I sold it on eBay for 170 quid, so that's 35 quid profit, which is... That's going to be really awkward if it isn't, isn't it? No, that's... Whatever, 35 quid profit or whatever. Just for a phone, it's pretty... You know, if you want to make some money, you know, just buy... Phones, like people sell iPhone 5s with cracked screens or phones with cracked screens. They're really not that expensive. I mean, I don't know about iPhone 5s, but iPhone 4s, they're really, they're, they're quite cheap to replace. So, I mean, if you don't want to do it yourself, just go up to your like, local phone shop or whatever and just get that done. But um, this clip is, video is quite an old video. I don't really remember what happens in the clips, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. I've, I've sort of just, this is literally standing up in my room, walking around, just pacing about, thinking of things to say. But um, Killstreaks I'm using in this one, the same as the last Call of Duty video, I believe. It is the Hellstorm missile, the Orbital Visa, and the Stealth Chopper. Three pretty sick uh, Killstreaks, as well as the uh, PDW, which I now have gold. I haven't really been playing Black Ops 2 recently, to be honest. I've been playing FIFA 13 and a bit of the 2007 RuneScape servers. It's... It feels a bit weird whenever I play it because people seem to get better and better every time I play it. So it's re really, really weird. But, um, yeah, I got relegated on FIFA 13. I thought, mate, this isn't this isn't good. I'm literally so annoyed. How, did, how, how do you get relegated on FIFA 13? And uh, so in Ultimate Team, how do you get relegated? It was Division 1 I got relegated from. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, one of the games, one of the games in Division 2, final game... Final game, I needed to win this game, and I, I won the championship, won the championship, got 10,000 coins. It was 4-3 to me, and in the 86th minute, PlayStation decides to disconnect. It's not my internet, it's just PlayStation, Sony. They've been really bad with their connection recently, so like whenever I've been on a Call of Duty game, I've always been rocking on like a 2-bar, even though my internet's like, eight, 86, like 85 mega a second, me, me, 85 megabyte internet connections. I don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest, but... um. Yeah, it's, I don't know, I mean, there's been a quite a lot of speculation about the PS4 as well. Uh, I'll be entering full-time education next year, so the full-time education, full-time work next year. I'll have an interview with a company in, like, two weeks or so, so hopefully it all goes well and I, I start earning because I'm considering getting the PS3, PS4, sorry, but I really, I'm really not sure if I want it or not because... You know, if you want to make the most of it, I think they've increased the frame rate, the processor and everything. It comes with an inbuilt PlayStation Move. If you want to make the best of it, I think the best thing is you, you need, like, a 70-inch TV just to, like, make the most of it. Because I, I, I personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with the PS3 graphics themselves at the moment. I mean, I've heard that they're going to be microchipping them as well, the uh, PS4 games. <coughs> so they're only limited to uh, one console. So that sort of defeats the object of buying and selling games or trading them in, pre-owned games and that sort of stuff. So... I only played one per console, this is what I've heard, and it's sort of just expected, you know, there's the uh, pictures online of the controller, it's a um, touch screen, but I, I might get it, depends what it's like and how much it is, I kind of expect it to be in the region of 600, 700 quid, and I should be able to afford that, because I'll be living at home for the next few years, just until I can afford to get myself somewhere to live, I mean, I was going to go to uni, but I just don't, hurst, no, no offence to people that are like, ah, the spider web, ah, I just don't think it's worth it, I think, I'd rather not be in 30, 40 grand's debt and uh, just get on with my life. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I would talk more. I'm literally just loving talking at the moment. But uh, yeah, this is this video. Um, really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't really know what else to talk about, to be honest. Uh, if there's any topics that you uh, wouldn't mind me talking about or any games you want me to play, then feel free to let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.